Yeah, yeah. Born in Perth. Um, my family, mum and dad are still there uh, and my brother. Um, and we spent most of the time there, although we spent a bit of time in New Zealand as well. Mum's from New Zealand. So um, we've got family in Tauranga over there, um, North Island. Cool. So when I was about, oh, must have been two, two or three, I spent a little bit of time there and did a bit of like, you know, kindergarten and stuff there. Oh, cool. So I have a, a very yeah close affinity with New Zealand and that sort of side of things as well. But yeah, mainly Perth. Which is a beautiful place. Yeah. Were you uh, were you close to the city, or were you out from the city a bit? Uh, close to the city, but I mean, the nice thing about Perth is you're like ten minutes, twenty minutes to the beach, mm-hmm. even if you're in the middle of the CBD. Um, and uh, it, it, I mean, the the city itself isn't particularly well, it's exciting. A street, as, really. Sure so. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot, not a lot to it. Although it is getting you know better and better. But it's it's those beaches, it's the river. Like we'd go wakeboarding. I used to know guys that you would would catch um would you know get a dinghy to and from school you know like in the morning and get stuff, a dinghy and like a, so for a dinghy yeah, for everyone like at home it's like a little like metal boat yeah like tender like a little yeah and they'd, they'd catch that to school you know and i was like it's like it's a great lifestyle yeah. we, do, do you really do you ultimately want to uh go back there would you would you t- bring up uh, a family there yourself it's a great place i think to have kids and I'm, I'm really glad I grew up there because it, it was a little bit more sheltered and you know, allowed me to sort of, I don't know, grow up a little bit slower, which was nice. Um, would I go Would I go back there? It's hard because there's no real work. As a, I mean, there's a bit and there's a few actors there, you know, friends of mine that have, have grown up there and stayed there and, and continue to work and they get all the work because they're, you know, one of like five or ten people there that just, you know, have stuff. But it's not particularly challenging. Um, if, you, if, if you're at a level where you could fly in and out, would that be like the place you go, I'd definitely sit up there and then fly out to do my big film for a couple of months and come back kind of thing? Maybe, but it is really far away. Like even, you know, your big film, if it's in Sydney or something, you're like, oh, i got to get a six-hour flight yeah. and then, you know, and shoot. And, uh, you know, you know films like they never shoot, you're never there for like the entire time. You'll be back and forth and all that sort of stuff. So I don't know. I do. I love it for holidays. I love going back over Christmas and summer and stuff. And like right now, they're still allowed to go out like on boats and things. And I'm so jealous. Oh, yeah. I see, see my mates going out fishing and um, and stuff like that. You know, two people only on the boat. But um, um, yeah, it's it's that sort of stuff that I miss. And it's that sort of stuff that I go back for. It's been, you know, four weeks over Christmas, just boating, fishing, camping. Well, that looks like an ad for something. <laughs> um, fishing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like that. <laughs> it's BC, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, no, it really is. Uh, all the UK viewers are like, I have no idea what they're singing about right now. Yeah. Um, is, is your brother younger, older? Uh, younger brother, um, who is a muso and he's doing his teaching degree at the moment. Um, as he's sort of tacked on. He, he went to Whopper as well, um, which is the Arts Academy over there, and uh, did, yeah, voice and guitar. Uh, so he writes a lot of his own stuff and um, should really at some point do something with him, write something or, produce, you know, put something out there with him when I'm back one time. Yeah, but, absolutely. Uh, I'm sure the chat's probably yeah, about to light up. To he's actually that. far more talented than, than I am. Well, to, to say that means that he must be insanely, insanely talented because you're pretty talented yourself, Ben. Oh. Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, I know that's where you were you trying to head me, like get me to go. That's what <laughs> just trying to lead me, me down that path. Just give me a compliment. You're milking it. I've been in isolation too long. <laughs> I need more compliments. I need them now. Yeah. Um, what were your, what do you, what, what did your parents do growing up? Uh, Mum's a oh, nurse. Cool. Is she still? Nurse. Uh, is she on the front line right now? Uh, she's actually doing. She was doing her training to look after COVID patients on oh, Tuesday. Wow. Um, yeah, so she's uh, she usually looks after outpatients after surgery, that mm. sort of thing, in a in a private hospital. Um, so they're preparing. I mean, they're actually got quite low numbers over there, and, and it looks like you know at the moment we're not going to be anywhere near as bad as a lot of other places. But um, you know, they're just preparing just in case they need to use those hospitals for for patients and stuff like that. And um, it's not exactly. I mean, she she's she's probably fairly high risk. Mum's. Well, I shouldn't really say her age. Um, <laughs> that could know, be dangerous. She's, she's, uh, I think she's 58. That's still young. That's still young. 
you know, so she's not like, you know, she does, she's really healthy. She's, she's really fit. They do mum and dad do um triathlons and mm. stuff like that. And, and so they're, you know, it's not like they're super high risk, but you just never know with yeah. this thing. It's, it's, you know, you've seen, you've seen people under, under well, they've had like this, the um, Olympic, Olympic swimmer, kids. this a South African guy who got it and said that, you know, he thought he was going to die and he's at like yeah. super athlete level. Um, so, I mean, it, it, it seems to be just, Oh, they haven't figured it out, but there may be just something genetic that some people have that um, they, mm. that this virus just really latches onto. But um, and that's what yeah, makes it so yeah. scary, I guess. Yeah, exactly. So it's been a bit scary just sort of discussing it with mum, like whether she, you know, stays mm. on. But she, you know, in some ways, she kind of has to because dad uh, has his own little business. He's a a print broker, so he basically does anything that's printed. Um, oh wow! And you know, there's been a big downturn obviously yeah. because you know all these small businesses closing all these big businesses big businesses without you know not needing much work and there's a lot less advertising and all that sort of thing so you know if mum stops working as well then it gets it gets tight it gets tough you know we didn't grow up with lots of money or anything like that sort of you know fairly working class but um yeah it's a it's a worry because you know for me i'd be like mum just stay at home you know, I know, you know, if they don't need nurses, like which, you know, at the moment it's the, the numbers aren't high enough that they're desperate or anything yeah. like that for, for more medical staff, um, then like I'm like, well, it's a big risk, you know. What if you're just one of those people that it doesn't, you know, doesn't sit well with if, if, the, yeah. if, the, if you get the virus, you know, if it affects you in a bad way. Um, and I can't even, I wouldn't even be able to go over there and get into the state because they've got hard lockdowns on the border. Yeah. So. Um, that, 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 that's also the thing, the the terrifying thing too is like if you do get sick then you get isolated like from all the people you love too uh and you want it yeah. to be that way because you don't want them to get sick either but that's like yeah it's a it's a really lonely place to be in at that point you know um yeah but uh, moving moving away from the covid chat again <laughs> um so so both you and your brother are performers like did did your parents have any of that in them or was it really just you guys just for some reason got it from somewhere um no mum's a singer oh, yeah. um she did a lot of sort of like gospel singing in a church oh, wow. for a long time um and like like my granddad he's 90 now on mum's side and he, like he's got a wicked voice too you know he's just, like he never was a professional singer or anything like that i think he was a builder and you know but he, you know they can sing really well so there's there's i suppose some genetics involved there which is helpful but um there's no actors or or like professional musicians or anything like that in the in the family. I think they're probably the first, um, and I think my brother's more most likely wants to go into something a little bit more stable, a little bit, a little, little, little bit more reliable. He's a little bit smarter than us them. too, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think my parents are like relieved to be honest, because it's like great to you know two sons and they've both gone into into the arts it's, and you know then they both know that it's not it's not an easy yeah. gig they're constantly but they've also always been supportive Did... though it sounds like yeah yeah definitely um particularly mum i mean no both of them have been i think dad probably always suspected like you know he always wanted to put in like oh you know maybe it's worth having a a bit of a backup yeah. or something else there like maybe you could study this on the side or and to be honest these days i think he's he's right like if if i had the chance to do it again even even now i think well maybe while we've got this time i'll just learn something else just something with my hands mm. or something a bit more practical um and part of that comes from the fact that i just it's not so much that i you know like desperate to have another income source or that although that's also nice but more so that i, I feel like actors aren't uh and a lot of artists particularly at the moment aren't like considered very useful <laughs> or very you know what I yeah, mean? Well, um, even yeah, though we are yeah. i know you know i know we are you know I mean, imagine going through this without netflix and 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 all the other things you know books and any and form of art that fills any, any everyone's time all the time yeah <laughs> i mean it would be awful but yeah there's this kind of i don't know underlying theme i suppose or of just maybe it's not as respected in this country as it should be Hello, and thank you for watching this Tech Talks clip. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you want to see the full conversation, click here. If you want to see all of the Tech Talk clips, click here. And if you want to see all of the Tech Talk conversations, click here.